The diagram shows the periodic table of elements. Isotopes are atoms of the same element which contain the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. The isotopes of radioactive substances are called radioisotopes. Do you know what the uses of radioisotopes are? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what radioisotopes are, give examples of radioisotopes, explain the uses of radioactive substances. What are radioisotopes? Radioisotope is an unstable nucleus that decays through radioactive emissions. Some examples of radioisotopes are cobalt-16, uranium-235, iodine-131, polonium-210 and radium-226. There are not many naturally occurring radioisotopes. Let's find out what are the uses of radioactive isotopes in various fields. Gamma radiations have high penetrating power. They can kill living cells. A highly concentrated beam of gamma ray is used to kill cancer cells. This treatment procedure is known as radiotherapy or radiation therapy. Radiotherapy uses ionizing radiation that injures or destroys cells in the area being treated, also known as target tissues. This ionizing radiation damages the genetic material of target tissues, making it impossible for these cells to continue to grow. Although radiation damages both cancer cells and normal cells, the normal cells are able to repair themselves and function properly. Isotopes are used in medical tests. The patient swallows the radioactive isotope and the path of it as it passes through the body can be detected. For example, to check the uptake of iodine by the thyroid gland, a patient is given a drink containing iodine-131, which emits gamma rays. A detector is then used to detect the rate of iodine accumulation in the thyroid gland. This radioactive iodine uptake test, or RAIU, is done to diagnose thyroid function problems such as hyperthyroidism. Radioisotopes are used as a tracer to detect leaks in underground pipes. Do you know how this is done? A radioactive tracer is added to the water in the pipe. The leaking area, which has unusually high count rate, can be detected by a detector. The penetrating power of radioactive radiation can be used to control and achieve uniform thickness in the production of paper, plastic and aluminium foil. Gamma radiations are used to check for metal cracks or defects in welding seams. Weak points or air bubbles will appear or show up on photographic film like an X-ray. Gamma rays are used in the food industry to kill bacteria, fungi, mold and insects in food even after it has been packaged. This process is known as irradiation and this process helps prolong the shelf life of food and make the food safer for consumption. In agriculture, the radioisotope phosphorus-3,2 is used as a tracer to trace the plant's uptake of fertilizer from roots to leaves. In this way, researchers can determine the amount of fertilizer needed for a crop. 
This information also helps researchers to understand how phosphorus is utilized by the plant for growth and reproduction. Gamma radiation is used in agriculture to induce mutations in crops. These mutations will produce crops with new and improved characteristics such as higher yield, better nutritional values and resistance to disease. How do archaeologists determine the age of dinosaur fossils or ancient remains? The age of fossils and ancient relics can be determined using radioisotope carbon-14. When these living organisms die, amount of carbon-14 decreases. By measuring the relative amount of carbon-14 in a fossil, compared with modern material, the age can be calculated. This method is known as carbon-14 dating. Drag and drop the correct words into the empty box and click the check button to check your answer. Your answer is correct. State true or false by clicking at the correct box. Click the check button to verify your answer. Your answer is correct. Click the correct answer. Which of the following statements define radioisotopes? 1. Radioisotopes are isotopes with unstable nuclei. 2. Radioisotopes are isotopes that emit X-ray. 3. Radioisotopes are isotopes that undergo radioactive decay. Your answer is correct. What is the special characteristic of carbon-14 that makes it suitable for estimating the age of ancient artifacts and fossils? A. It has a very long half-life. B. It has a very short half-life. C. It has a strong ionizing power. D. It has a strong penetrating power. Your answer is correct. An isotope of uranium is denoted by uranium. Which of the following statements is true about the isotope? 1. It has 92 protons. 2. It has 92 neutrons. 3. Its nuclear number is 238. Your answer is correct. Which of the following are the uses of radioactive isotopes? 1. To determine the age of fossils. 2. To detect leaks in underground pipes. 
3. To check the function of body organs. 4. To determine the sex of a fetus in the womb. Your answer is correct. The process of using gamma radiation is to kill bacteria and molds in packaged food is known as A. Irrigation B. Irradiation C. Illumination D. Immunization Your answer is correct. In this lesson, we learned that radioisotopes are isotopes with unstable nuclei that undergo radioactive decay. Artificial radioisotopes have many uses in the medical, industrial, food, agricultural and archaeological field. In archaeology, the age of various ancient remains or artifacts can be determined by carbon dating. Can carbon dating be used to determine the age of all types of ancient artifacts? How does carbon dating work? Click the info button to know the answer. After an organism dies, no new carbon-14 is added, so the percentage of carbon-14 decreases as the nuclei undergo radioactive decay. This can be used to measure the age of the remains. For example, if a tree is cut down and used to build a shelter, as soon as a tree dies, the amount of carbon-14 in it begins to decrease. 5,700 years later, there will be half as much carbon-14 in the wood as in a live tree. Thus, by measuring the carbon-14 content in ancient logs, charcoal, bones, fabric or other such artifacts, archaeologists can estimate their age.